Hi, I have just come to Guwahati. No, no, I am not thinking of joining politics. But to watch birds. Let's go. Our tour started with the sighting of Greater Adjutant Stock and we went to Guwahati Dumping Ground to see it. After saying this, we saw many nest of lesser adjutant stock on a single tree on main highway. After sipping hot Assam tea, we started with a short bird walk in Naveri National Park. With the sighting of an Assam macaque, cap langur, white hooded babbler, blue throated barbet, and many more birds, our first day in Naveri National Park ended. Good morning. It is 5 am now here in Assam, and uh, it is already quite bright here. Our stay at Nameri is over and from here we are now moving to Tenga. So let's see what budding is happening there. Even on our way to Tenga, we were stopping in between and budding. But due to the fog, the visibility was not as good as it should be. However, I tried a little to take pictures of grey-throated babbler, strict spider hunter and silver-eared messiah. Everyone's main target when coming to Eagle Nest is the Bubun Leo Chukla. And of course, that was the same for us. We got to see Bubun for a long time, but unfortunately, it was very foggy, so the photos came out blurry and whitish. Self photography was going on, and suddenly there was a metallic high pitch spotted Illachura sound from a very high end of a tree, and we resumed bird photography again. On the way to Bompu, it was raining at Lama Camp. Even though we were getting wet in the rain, we took few shots. There we saw green tail sunbird, beautiful sibia, olive pipit, and other birds. At one point in between, a yellow ramped honey guide would come down and sit in front of us, and we were hoping to get some cool yellow ramped photos of him. Well, nothing like that happened. By that time, we were observing Mrs. Gold Sunbird, named after a great British artist, yellow-throated fulvet tar, red tail minila, and yellow chick tit. But then the honey guide came back. He sat directly on the honeycomb, living up to his name. And we got very nice photos. The stay at Bompu camp was very basic. I mean a tent, two beds, and a small light. That's it. All else is out. Uh, yeah, charging too. After seeing straighted bulbul, white nep yuhina, Himalayas cute bird Himalayan cutia, white breasted parrot bill, and my favorite collared owlet in the Bompu area, what if you get a tea craving in the middle of the forest? <laughs> Sneha making tea in the middle of Eagle Nest Wildlife Sanctuary. <laughs> <laughs> photo in the camp of Bompu. Bompu camp. <laughs> After clicking, lifer, lifer, no, no, collared owlet without kill. Asha, take any to Malay as a five star treatment, Chahani, coffee, any maza, any kai, any, 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 while going from Bompu to Sela via Tenga, we decided to try Bugun Leo Chikla once again. On the way, we saw golden breasted Fulveta, chestnut headed Tesia, Rufus vented Yuhina, chestnut crowned Wobbler, Bhutan laughing thrush, and many more birds. Talking about Bugun, Bugun Leo Chikla was first seen in 1995 in Arunachal Pradesh, but described as a new species in 2006. 
its iucn status is endangered both the common and scientific names of this bird are given from the local community called bugun bugun is a very shy bird so he doesn't sit on a nice perch that quickly but no matter what this time we got a record shot and got a tick mark next to the name of the bird which is on the topmost priority in the bird list to be seen in arunachal the distance from dirang where we stayed to sela pass was about 1 and 1/2 to 2 hours so we left from dirang at around 4:30 in the morning and stopped on the way to see if blood pheasant could be seen but the first sighting was less blood pheasant and more blur pheasant he ran so fast and never came back further on at 13000 feet a flock of grandala birds of royal blue color was sitting on a white snow this is the bluest bird i have ever seen we had only two options to watch him until we were satisfied and to take pictures when snow started to appear at 13000 feet the 600 mm was automatically set aside and mobile landscape photography started for a while after that of course i was hungry so the mandatory momos maggi and a tea i got a little tired after taking photos of golden bush robin alpine accenter himalayan blue tail oxen streak reaper brown throated fulveta at high altitude so i sat quietly in a car for some time after a while while taking photos of fire tailed bisonis our bird guide neema found a rosy pipit injured rohit gave him water he felt better for a while but uh, we could not save him blood pheasant was missed the previous day so we cancelled today's plan to go to mandala and instead of leaving at 4:30 in the morning we left at 3:30 in the morning this time we not only saw a blood pheasant but he stood on a cool log and took a portrait shot from all of us after seeing fire tail sunbird snow pigeon darjeeling woodpecker and thanks to rohit solitary snipe in the last session we headed back to guwahati our flight from guwahati was at 11:30 in the night so for the whole day we went to gharbanga forest reserve gharbanga forest is so so rich that while walking there one feels that one day is not enough to experience its glory but we had to leave now after shooting with 150 600 mm in sun wind rain fog snow for 9 days straight when i came home honestly i didn't feel tired even for one second on the contrary the planning of a new trip has started so let's meet next time at such a new destination till then don't forget to subscribe my channel bye bye